everyone, today I have a hopefully really short video for you and this video is going to be about my June favourites. I wouldn't call this explicitly my June favourites because I don't buy many products so this is kind of a rollover of several months worth of stuff. Let's get right to it. So the first thing I want to talk about is something I bought recently and it's this Sukin purifying shampoo and I got this one from Priceline for I think $16.99. I wanted to try this because I tried their facial cleanser and I thought it was really good and gentle. This one is sulfate and paraben free. So far I'm really loving this product because it's really good for deep cleaning. I have oily hair and I sometimes get dandruff. I was using the head and shoulders shampoo but everyone was telling me that it actually is bad because it has a lot of harsh chemicals. Now this is a carbon neutral product and it's got really natural ingredients. It has a really pleasant kind of mild grapefruit or lemon scent. It's really different to normal shampoos because it doesn't lather in your hair so you end up using quite a bit but I think that it cleans really well and it's really deep cleansing like it says. I've used this a few times and I can definitely notice that my hair feels a lot more lighter and it's less knotted as well. It's good for winter as well because my hair is less oily than it is in summer. I definitely recommend this and I think that it's good value because it's such a large package. So yeah definitely loving this new purchase. My second favorite for this month is a gift that I got from my sister and it's the popcorn lip scrub by Lush. It comes in a little tiny jar like this. Now this lip scrub is made with really simple ingredients. It says it has caster sugar, jaboba oil, sea salt, polenta, coconut oil and poppy, popping candy. Now the reason I've been loving this one is because my lips get really dry in winter and it's really good for exfoliating. And as I mentioned before, I do love eating a lot and a healthy amount and this smells exactly like what it is which is popcorn. It has like a buttery sweet scent. When you put it on your lips, it's edible as well. So when you lick it up, it really tastes like butter because of the sea salt. I think that this is just a really good product that you can't lose out on. Definitely something anyone can use because everyone gets kind of dry in winter. This is a really good stable favorite that I've been loving for quite a while now. My third favorite product is also coincidentally a natural type of product and it's this Anywhere, Anytime, All Purpose Chemical Free Probiotic Based Cleaner. This is a sample I got in the Notox box a few months back. It does have like a really lemony scent as well. I like using this to wipe up dust so I'll spray a little bit on a cloth and just wipe up everything. It's really gentle and you can even use it to clean your brushes. I really like like that this is natural. Yeah, I think that this you can't really go wrong. It's a general all-purpose cleaner, so yeah, you can use it on basically anything. Now the last beauty thing that I've been loving this month is something I've had for ages. I kind of stopped using it because it was sitting away in my drawer for a really long time but I've rediscovered it and been really loving it lately and it is this prescriptive Flawless Skin Total Protection Concealer. In the last month, I've basically hit pan with this concealer. I think that it's really good for coverage and um, really blendable, really good, and I'm in the shade level 2 warm. I really like this because it's really compact and I can take it anywhere. So if I'm going out and I want to like fix up my makeup, I can just bring this. I don't have to bring like my full bottle of foundation and just have it in my bag like, and it will leak out everywhere. It's also winter right now, so I'm really enjoying that it is not breaking me out and it's not drying. The one thing I have to say about this is that it runs out really quick because I don't think I've been using particularly much but yeah as I mentioned before I've already hit pan so um, I definitely watch out for that for the price that it is. So yeah that was all for my beauty favourites this month and I'm going to be moving on to the miscellaneous favourites now and I know that that's not everyone's thing so if you guys don't want to watch that you can skip out. So the first thing that I have that is a non-beauty favourite is these pair of socks by American Apparel. They are thigh high socks and I think they were $24 but I've been obsessed with these and I've been wearing them a ton. I think that they're super comfortable and my thighs are pretty huge and kind of muscular so I love that these actually stay on and they don't ride down and they're not too distorted or stretched. These are super comfortable for winter and I'm a skirts girl. I really love that I can cover up and keep warm in winter. I think that they're really cute and just something that adds a little bit of detail into any outfit. I definitely love these and I think that they're super cute and match almost anything. Now my favourite read for this month is this graphic novel called Skim. Now it is by Mariko Tamaki and Jillian Tamaki and I think they're sisters but you know I wouldn't assume if I don't know. And this isn't a typical like manga style graphic novel. It has some really nice detailed drawings and I think that they're really beautiful. Um, each line is like really expressive and very much gestural so it looks very artistic for a graphic novel. I think this is a really beautiful simple story and the protagonist is amazing. I feel like the main character Skim is a really good representation of other smaller groups that we don't necessarily see in popular culture or in popular literature. She is a British 
kind of chubby Asian girl and I totally relate to her. Yeah, this is a great kind of coming of age story and really short and a really easy read. I definitely recommend it to anyone who likes um, manga or graphic novels or short stories. Now my final favourites are three movies that I've seen recently but I love all three of them. The first one is the Lego movie. I really love the Lego movie. It was really exciting, fast paced and really engaging. It had a lot of meaning for what it was. And the theme song is hilarious and really cute. Everything is awesome! Um, I can't sing so that's a fail. I thought the humour was really hilarious. I was laughing the whole way through. I definitely recommend the movie for anyone who likes animation and who is in for a little good laugh. On a related note, my other favourite movie for this month was 22 Jump Street. I freaking love 21 Jump Street. I've seen it several times and 22 Jump Street was equally as hilarious. I love how they made so many references to the first movie and if you like the first one, this one definitely doesn't disappoint. And I really loved how well it matched the first movie in terms of being a sequel. Not much to say, I think that it was just a really good movie. So my final movie that I really loved this month was X-Men Days of Future Past. Oh my gosh, I saw this movie yesterday yesterday and I loved it. My mind was blown. Similar to the Lego movie, the whole movie was really engaging. A lot of movies, even if they're really good, I'll end up checking my phone to see what time it is. Um, but this one, I couldn't look away from the screen. The actors were all amazing. Now, I'm a huge fan of the whole X-Men franchise and most of the X-Men movies, unfortunately, I can't say I loved every single one. X3. Anyway, I really love this movie and I love that they brought back most of the characters. It was awesome to see like another twist on the whole like world building I guess. It was mind blowing. I don't want to give any spoilers because it's a pretty new movie but I definitely recommend this movie. It was a bit confusing to follow so I would try to watch the previous movies before I get into this. I don't think that you would find it as enjoyable if you haven't seen the previous ones. I think that again this was a really good sequel that was almost on par with the first movie. Yeah, just mind blown. It was awesome. <laughs> Another music favourite I've had for this month is a song by Spaz Kid, and I think that this is a 40 minute mix called Plastic Platform. If you guys are into like SoundCloud music or license free music or just independent DJs, this is an awesome mix. I really love how it switches from genre, it kind of weaves in really well, and you go on this musical journey for like about 40 minutes. Really good song, and I think it's free for download, so you know, definitely doesn't hurt to try it out. I'm going to play a little sample for you guys right now, so I guess this is what it sounds like. Really groovy song, I really recommend this artist. He, he or she, I'm not sure, I don't know much about him or her, is really good. Definitely recommend them because they do a lot of free downloads, so good for everyone, win-win. So that's pretty much all of what I wanted to share and what I've been enjoying this month. If I have enough stuff accumulated for next month, I'll try to do another favourites video. I've been pretty free this holidays. I'm really loving the holidays. You can probably tell by like my expression that I've been more relaxed and I've had a lot more time to, you know, just enjoy myself. So I guess that's all I have to say for now, but um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!